हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास एट जियोग्राफी व्हिच इज लैंड सॉइल वाटर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सेज नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ अ लिटल बिट सो आई एम राघव दक्ष करेंटली परसिंग हिस्ट्री ऑनर्स फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली कॉलेज ऑफ वोकेशनल स्टडीज नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट आर चैप्टर विद द इंट्रोडक्शन natural resources like land soil water and living things such as plants and animals differ in quality and use across the world so all these natural resources are present across the world such as land soil water and living things such as plants and animals but they differ in quality and use across the world according to different locations these differences affect people's lives and the way they use the land so the relationship between human beings and natural environment affect people's lives in the way they use the land now let's see what is land land is one of earth's most important natural resources but covers only about 30% of the surface so if it's covering 30% of the earth surface then remaining 70% of the surface is covered with water if there is that uh, much water then why are we having scarcity well we'll talk about it later but let's first understand about the land that it is it covers about 30% of the earth surface not all land can be lived on or used mountains deserts and forests are often sparsely populated so the places like mountains deserts and forests um generally don't don't have that much people living in so they are uh, people are scattered in these places now let's see the uses of land so land is used for multiple purposes such as agriculture which is for farming purpose and uh, growing more crops such as uh, wheat barley rice etc the second one is forestry for planting and managing trees the third one is mining which is extraction of minerals from the nature now fourth one is for housing purposes for building houses and creating towns villages and societies and at last for roads and industries for constructing roads and factories for the human use for the development of society now um, different factors affect this land use such as physical factors which is topography uh, now topography means shape of land soil climate water availability minerals now these are the physical factors that affect the land use second one is human factors which is how much population is there and can technology be accessed from that area or not so these are some of the factors now there are multiple ownerships there are different types of ownership such as private land which is owned by individuals and there is community land which is owned and used collectively it is used collectively by any group such as a village so it is used for grazing purposes and gathering forest products now as we humans are using multiple natural resources it is obvious that the problems are also there so one of the most important problem that is there in our society is growing population so the growing population pressures lead to overuse and change of land use from natural to human made which is urbanization or deforestation now as the population is growing um, the government is creating more and more space for the humans to live on now this led to the change of land use from natural to human made and the urbanization is taking place due to which the trees are um, the deforestation is taking place it means cutting down of many trees is taking place the solution for this problem is conservation means we need to conserve our environment and how by doing afforestation planting more and more trees land reclamation making land usable again regulated use using chemicals and overgrazing in limits so these are some of the uh, methods by which we can conserve our environment let's see what is soil a thin layer on earth where plants grow it is a thin layer on earth surface on on the land which uh, on which the plant grows made of tiny bits of rock dead plant animals which is called humus minerals air and water so as you can see this is the soil and the tiny bits of rock are there dead plants and animals are also there minerals are there and air and water is also there so all these mixed up together create a soil how is soil made it forms slowly from rocks breaking down helped by rain wind plants and animals so it is a gradual process so so when rocks break down and the, with the help of rain wind plants and animals so with the help of these factors a soil is created 
So soil is different in different places because of weather, plants, animals, rocks and time. Now why can soil get damaged? Harmful farming methods, cutting too many trees, using too many chemicals, too much water or grazing by animals also damages soil. Soil can be damaged through um, you know um, harmful farming methods like using too many chemicals in the farming process or cutting too many trees or much or if too much water is used or grazing by animals also damages the soil. How can we protect the soil? Grow different crops together, use natural methods instead of too many chemicals can protect the soil. So these are the methods by which we can protect the soil. Water. Now why is water so important? It is needed for drinking, washing, cooking, farming and factories. So water is that one basic thing that is needed in our everyday life such as for the drinking purposes, for washing clothes, for cooking, farming and even in the factories. So most water is salty and cannot be used, only a small part is fresh water. So as I, um, I mentioned earlier that the 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water, then why is there scarcity? So there is scarcity because uh, most of the water is salty and cannot be used for the drinking purposes. Only a small amount of uh, water is fresh water, small part of water bodies. The problems with the water is some places don't have enough water, so water scarcity is there and rivers and lakes get polluted by the waste. Now ways to save and protect water, there are multiple ways through which we can solve this problem such as collecting rainwater and not wasting water at home like um, not wasting it by while toothbrushing or you know hand washing or, or not bathing for long hours. So don't waste water at home, treat dirty water before releasing it and grow trees to help store ground water. So these are some of the factors which can help in saving the water and protect the water bodies. Let's see uh, natural vegetation and wildlife. What are they? Natural vegetation. So these are plants that grow by themselves, not planted by people. So the plants you see in a forest are natural vegetation because they grew by themselves and not with the intervention of human beings. Now there is wildlife, wild animals, birds, fish and insects. So overall all the animals are considered as the wildlife. And we can see the interaction between natural vegetation and wildlife because natural vegetation is the home of these wildlife. Why are they important? We plants give us oxygen, food, wood and medicine. Animal give us milk, meat, eggs, wool and help in nature. So basically you can see all the plants and animals they both gives us natural resources. So these natural resources are useful for our day to day life and we use them regularly. So we are dependent on these natural resources. Now problems are also there cutting forests, hunting animals, pollution and building cities. Some animals and plants are becoming extinct. Now extinct means that they are no longer existing in the environment. So cutting down a forest um, is one thing that, that um, leads to the extinction of many wild animals because they no longer ha have their home, hunting animals, pollution and building cities. So these are uh, some of the problems that are um, that hinders the environment process. How can we protect them? Make protected areas like parks and reserves. You must have heard about wildlife sanctuaries, national parks and reserves. So they are created by the government to protect these species, species that can be extinct soon. Now spread awareness and follow laws to protect animals and plants. So spreading awareness and uh, you know creating such, such policies that can help in pro promoting the natural environment. So these are some of the ways through which we can protect the environment. Some keywords are there such as afforestation which means planting new trees. Deforestation, cutting down of trees, soil erosion, soil is carried away by wind and water. Soil erosion is basically the um, loss of quality of soil. Water scarcity, not enough water. Scarcity in general refers to the um, if there is something that is not enough for the use. Wildlife sanctuary, area where animals are protected. Okay. Yeah, so this was all about this chapter. I hope you liked it. Um, if you do, you can give it a thumbs up and you can comment down your doubts if you have any. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos and we'll meet soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.